Uh, Mike's over here and uh, he brought a flywheel that he, uh, or the crankshaft actually. He, uh, this, this crankshaft was in sad shape, it was all busted up and uh, he brought it home and clad welded it and uh, brought it up to, I don't know, what, what size was that Mike? Half inch? It was half inch and now it's... Five eighths. Yep. Five eighths. Six, six. a nice job buddy. Thanks. So now what he's doing, that and that, that way we don't have to do anything on our flywheel, but what he's doing now is, uh, let me come around this way, but he, he's just broaching a keyway in it. I don't know if this light's going to help. Yeah, it had a three, yeah. no, it had an eighth inch keyway. We're going to go up to a three sixteenths. Um, that's what uh, five eighths calls for. Okay. So. And is that working for you, that drill press? Yeah, I mean, I'm only going, I'm going in the same location where the three sixteenths keyway was. So um, I'm, all, I'm, I'm not removing very much material. Right. So plus it's cast anyway. Yeah, it, it cuts it cuts cuts pretty easy. So you just gotta. That's good. Now we're that far. I scroll it up a little bit. You saved me a trip out to the shed to get the arbor press. Yeah, I don't know if they want that. It's wet and cold outside. Heck with yeah. So this uh, this should do the job just fine. This is it's a little tip for them uh, little YouTubers. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's cutting no problem. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, goes at the bottom. So now I've got to um, put the uh, put a shim in. in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to lower the drill press again. Hmm. We should be able to get this thing uh, flashing tonight, huh? Oh, yeah, I think so. I guess I still have to put a keyway in the. Uh, in the oh, that's shaft. right. But um, you have to mill that. We have. Uh, I do believe we have some keyway cutters. Oh, we do. For that, so that would make that's going to make it a heck of a lot easier and nicer too. Okay, I don't know if you guys realize what he just did. He, you can see it right here. He put a little shim in there, mm -hmm. and then he redo you redo that, and that just makes that right. It push it. It brings the brooch farther into the material. Right. It's not much. What is it? Uh, yeah, it's very tiny, but thirty-five uh, thousandths maybe. Yeah, that's all you need to do is just take a little bite out of it. Yeah, be a little bit careful here because you know we don't want right. to press it in a night because we don't want to snap the snap the brooch off. That would be that would be annoying. Yeah, you hear it cutting? Mm. Press up a little mm. bit. Okay, I'm gonna let Mike finish this and uh, we'll show you when it's done. All right, Mike's over here. He's cutting the he's cutting the keyway. Well, not anymore. No. No, nah, that ML shot. Yeah. I mean, you really needed a keyway cutter, but we didn't have that. No, nah. we had keyway cut. We had every every size keyway cutter, but three sixteenths. Yeah, no good. Yeah. So flip, flip it around. See if I can't uh, break through with that. Hmm. The other side. It will. Keep at it, buddy. You get it. All right. All right. We, we ran into a little problem here with uh, we didn't have the right 316s keyway cutter and just tried doing it with uh, a regular tool bit there, milling cutter. So uh, didn't work out for us. So Mike is going to take it home and uh, he's got a 316s at home. But meanwhile, we're just playing around here and instead of using the buzz coil, we might just use a regular Briggs coil. And Mike's hooking it up to see if it's going to work. If it'll do what we need. Yeah, we'll see if it'll work battery ignition wise. Okay, what do you got? You got a battery. And He's got a condenser hooked up here. And let me get over that side, see if it's watch, Mike. Oh, yeah, you're getting a spark out of here. Yeah, it's not the best. Not, not like the buzz coil, but. No. Like you say, you're not going to get a spark like a buzz coil. Oh well. And it could actually be that this capacitor is not the appropriate value for the battery ignition. It's more suited to magneto. Right. To, you know, how was it originally? Was it a 22? What would you need, a higher or lower? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know, we'd have to experiment with it. Because I got a couple laying over there, maybe we'll play with them. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see if I can find them. Alright, well we're done here for now. There's not much more we can do. We're just playing. 
we got the little coil working, so uh, yeah, I thought we were going to have the glass head on and everything, if, but uh, we ran into problems with that crankshaft, so. All right, say goodbye, Mike. Come on. All right, tubes. Next time.